you've been living in the future for years now and you don't even realize it. Jarvis has been living in your pockets in the form of Google Assistant and Siri for a long time. But now they want to move into your homes. What sounds like supreme stalking is just tech giants trying to bring AI into all aspects of our lives in the form of smart speakers. And the latest in line is this. The Google Home. Cute little thing, isn't it? But it's going to give Amazon's Echo devices sleepless nights. And let me tell you how it plans to do that. First, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. On top are two far field microphones that are listening even with ambient noise. In the middle are the touch sensitive controls with LEDs that indicate volume and when the assistant is listening to you. Around the back is the mute button. Press it and you can allow the assistant to go take a nap whenever you feel like. The removable base can be swapped out for different colors in international markets. But here in India, you just get the gray one for now. Inside is a 2-inch driver and dual 2-inch passive radiators that are supposed to spread 360 sound in your home. Enough tech jargon, now let's get down to business. It's time to take the Google Home to its natural habitat to see what it can do. So this is it, home sweet home. What I like about this guy instantly is how it just blends into the decor. This short, stout, white and grey device looks like it can do no harm, like a humble tech servant. If anything, feels like if I get too close, it might just spray my face with some lavender, like an automatic air freshener. But enough talk. I'm tired, it's been a long day at work, so I'm just gonna kick back, relax, and let the assistant do all the work today. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get the Google Home to do all our work, we need to plug it into a power source. So there's a bunch of things the Google Home can do and a few things it can't. But let's begin with the former. First things first, this is a smart speaker for your smart home, which means if you have smart devices hooked up, like the Philips Hue smart bulb we have here, all you need is the power of your voice to control it. OK Google, turn on living room light. Sure, turning the living room light on. And just like that, let there be light. Now what if I want to watch some TV without bothering with something silly like a remote? OK Google, play some Stranger Things on Netflix. Playing on living room TV. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. Here's a good one. Why did the scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. Okay, Google, how do I say I'm really bored in Spanish? Estoy realmente aburrido. Okay, Google, how's my day? Hello, Farhan. The time is 4.02 p.m. Currently in Mumbai, it's 30 with smoke. It will be clear with clouds from time to time with a forecast high of 31 and a low of 29. Have a wonderful day. Now this thing can also show you the fastest route to your destination. So if you're always running late, like me, you can just say, OK Google, show me the fastest route to the international airport. The best way to get to Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport owned by Paris by Western Express Highway, which will take about 52 minutes in heavy traffic. You can see the full route on your phone. So I might be a little out of depth in the kitchen, but with the Google Home Assistant by my side, things are about to change. Okay, Google, how do you make barbecue chicken? Okay, I've got a recipe called Kitten Pills Easy Oven Baked Barbecue Chicken from Genius Kitchen. Does that sound good? Yes. Great, let's get started. Would you like to prepare the ingredients or skip to the instructions? Skip to instructions. There's nine steps. I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say next step. 
First step, set oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Set oven rack to bottom position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Google. Repeat that slowly. I said, there's nine steps. I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say next step. First step, set oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Set oven rack to bottom position. Now I do sense some sarcasm in her voice, but at least I won't burn the house down. Remember what we said earlier about things she cannot do? Check this out. Okay Google, can you make a call? Sorry, I can't make calls yet. Okay Google, can you send a message? At this point, She's just plain ignoring me. Now another thing this thing cannot do is be your primary sound system. Now this speaker sounds decent, don't get me wrong. But if you really want to start a party, you're going to need something else. Luckily however, there is one solution. So you can actually launch the home app and select any speaker connected over Bluetooth to your Google Home device and make it the default speaker. For example, what I do when I want to listen to music is change my default speaker to this excellent Q-Acoustic soundbar that I've connected via Bluetooth. Now there are even more things it cannot do. Okay Google, can you kill my boss? I don't understand. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Okay Google, can you tell me what my wife really wants? Sorry, I don't understand. Never mind, neither do I. Okay Google, can you make me rich? I can't make you rich, but I can help you search for information. And maybe you can use all your newfound knowledge to make a lot of money. I don't want information, I just want money. So there is a stumbling block in the whole Google Home experience. Suppose you have multiple assistants in your life, very often, here's what will happen. Okay Google. Google tells Sorry, us. Sorry, I don't understand. Now as much as I love the enthusiasm, this much of it can get a bit annoying. See what I mean? However, Google tells us that they are working to improve which device responds when you make a request. But for now, you're gonna have to live with this. In many ways, the Google Home is amazing. It's the all-in-one Jarvis-like butler we've been dreaming of for years. Well, almost. Limited features and app support do hold it back a bit. But this being the Google universe, updates and improvements are a simple download away. At Rs. 9999, it isn't an absolute must-buy in its current state. However, if you have the right smart home setup and fancy a taste of the future today, we say bon appetit. If you like this, there's a lot more where that came from. But you're gonna have to like, share and subscribe to find out. Okay Google, say goodbye.